We officially have less than 48 hours until Grindheart Plumbing Co. is landing in Baltimore and we're picking them up to build the aluminum body for the Porsche hunting cart. Now we call it the hunting cart because it's based off of the Porsche hunting car that Porsche had made way back when. Now in this video you can look forward to us fabricating a custom exhaust, making the roll bar, doing other odds and ends in the cart, and also getting it tuned and just driving well. So stick around guys, you're watching Crucible Coachworks and this is going to be another big one. So we've got the Rogue Fab Bender all set up now. I read the instructions multiple times. I think it'll work out okay. We need, need the final touch, which is the giant googly eye. I could not find in the instructions where it should go, but it also is our own googly eye, so ha. Anyway, I think right here is appropriate. Right there. Now he has a little bit of soul. So our plan here is to go ahead and do a test bend and see if we can get a test roll bar made for the hunting cart because the new piping is coming Tuesday and I want to make sure I know how to use this thing in advance. So let's go ahead and do this. Right, we're all clamped up. We have one and a half inch diameter piping. It is not eighth inch wall, which is what we're going to be making the final tubing out of. It's a little bit thinner to get 16th inch. So this is just a test, like I said. I think he's ready. Let's give it a try. First 20 degree bend was actually really great. It did kink, and that is strictly because the wall thickness that we're using, which is 0.052, I believe is what it measured out to, is thinner than the minimum, which is 0.076, I think is what it said for this, the size die. So it's going to kink regardless. Not a big deal. We're just practicing to make sure we can make some get fits. I said it wasn't a big deal, but apparently it is a big deal. This is literally the first time I've ever bent tube in my life, so bear with me here. Uh, yeah, apparently the kinking is an issue because it's going to kink to the point that you're not gonna get a bend. Well, at least I know it works now, so that's, that's, a, that's a bonus. Look at that sick 140 degree bend. That's pretty sweet. Look how clean that is. See, that's what happens when you use the correct wall diameter and not undersized to make a kink. Yeah. This is a kink-free zone. So yeah, this is supposed to go here. Look at that. What do you think, Tony? That'll protect your head. <laughs> protect your neck. Awesome. piston in with the screw. Hmm. Usually you gotta compress them. Put this guy on. Screw it in the rest of the way. And these are not what I would call restored for sure. More like rebuilt for Limited use go kart. <laughs> there's one half. Nice. Do the same thing over here. It's only temporary. <laughs> so we have something to uh, hold our switches. I sit with this bouncing around while we're 
doing some test runs and uh, shorting stuff out. Crikey. Tony's wrestling a time and life. Yeah. They're alligator clips. <laughs> I'm wrestling alligator okay. clips. Careful with the barbs. <laughs> Too soon. Yep. Rest in peace. So we're gonna time the hunting cart. And by we, I mean Tony is because naturally the oldest guy in the shop has to time the uh, carbureted vehicle. Use the timing light. Yeah. Um, but you're gonna keep it running. I, I got I got throttle right here by foot. Okay. Tighten it down, I guess, and it's great. Yeah, it's a good place to tighten it down. At least it runs. At least it will stay running there. Good starting point. Uh, there you go. Ah! Was that loud? Yeah, it was actually. Sweet. There we go. We have, we have a fab and exhaust today now. Yeah. That's exciting. Get my caliper on here and then. Boom. There you go. Look at that. Crossword puzzle for dad. <laughs> this is 2017. Oh, then I've done this crossword puzzle already. <laughs> I quickly modeled and 3D printed a breather block off plate out of carbon fiber. Hopefully it'll work. I think it'll work okay. Let's put it down that side and then we'll put some RTV on it or something like that to seal it. But for now, let's put it on. It was, the problem was the oil fill is also part of the breather plate and it, uh, the seat got in the way of it basically. So, or it got in the way of the seat rather. So, this should do the trick. Bump, bump, bump. There we go. Now we have a low profile oil fill. Use the cheapest tubing nacho that exists and it was found in the back of a drawer. But, look at that. I'll take it.
back from the store with some more puzzle pieces for the uh, exhaust. I, we think that part of a running issue is because the exhaust is not getting enough back pressure. So, we got some Y collectors here. Adapters to adapt to the header size. Extra pipe for the header length and two and a half inch for the rear past the end of the Y, which we're going to put the silencers that are actually gonna go on the slant nose, but due to time crunch, we're gonna put them on this instead to help with a little more back pressure and a little bit of the sound as well, which these also are really sweet because you can actually pack um, exhaust packing into like steel wool to muffle the sound more. There's discs you can add or whatnot. So what we'll do is we'll slide in the end, screw it with the tapping screw so we can pull it out and change it as we want and kind of tune the exhaust, so. There it is, the world's ugliest exhaust. Side one and side two. I am not proud of this exhaust. I need the, I need the internet to know that I'm not proud of this. Grindhard will be landing in Baltimore less than four days from now. So we're just, we need to get this thing driving. We will be revisiting this exhaust again at a later date, I'm sure. Let's hammer in some silencers. All right, so there's this much packing left. I'll halvesy it if I can. Hungry? Yeah, imagine mm. just biting that. Cotton Stainless candy. steel wool. Just... <laughs> so the way it's supposed to work is you just kind of pack it in. Just wrap it around here in these channels. Give it a little extra, A, back pressure, we need that, and B, a little extra quietness, which, as much as I don't want to do that, this thing will be obnoxious without it. I grab a big mallet, whatever. And then we just tap it in. Wait, I feel like I should blow that dust out first, mm, huh? Yeah. Let's start it up first. That'll, that'll, that'll blow it out, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it sounds kind of like a Harley, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, that blew it out. <laughs> yeah, we just tap it in. It'll straighten itself out. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> he just shows up just to nitpick. He doesn't do any work, he just shows up and nitpicks. <laughs> what he doesn't know is I'm trying to help him. <laughs> Oh, I slid right in. How about that? <laughs> Man, if someone wanted to ruin the end of that pipe, I wouldn't have to cut these. Uh huh. Cause that looks kind of cool. What are those, Tony? They're synchrometers. They measure the air going into the carburetor so you can make sure that the same amount of air is going through each one. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome.
Yeah. It's hot today. <laughs> it's, hot. it's been hot every day this week. The entire video, I was, I'm watching Logan edit this video throughout the week, and every scene I'm like, I am drenched in sweat. Everyone's gonna be like, this guy's a sweaty person. Like, no, it's been like over 50% humidity every day and over 90 degrees, so yeah. it's been a rough week. But it's running, driving, crawling. Yeah. Donating. Not rolling over. <laughs> Not rolling over. This Stopping. thing has a very low center of gravity. I mean, it, it, it's partially because it's a flat four engine that's like this high off, not really this high, it's off the ground, but still axle height. So it looks it, very tall, but it's not, it just looks hot, tall. And once we have the body on it and then, you know, the body's going to be lifted up a little bit and stuff, I think it's going to look good. Speaking of putting the body on it, it, when this video comes out tomorrow, it'll be Saturday, Grindhard Plumbing Co. So Ethan and Will will be landing in Baltimore two days after that. Yeah. Monday morning, I'll be picking them up at the airport. If I remember that they're going to be there, <laughs> just kidding. I, I won't leave you guys, so don't worry. Um, and then they're coming here, and we're going to be building a body from scratch out of aluminum on this. So that's a big, exciting deal for us. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it in the grand scheme of things, we're a channel of less than 13,000 subscribers, and they have what, like 1.5 million or something? I don't know. Roughly 10 times. If you want to. No, sorry. They're, math no, guy over here. 10, 100 times. Yeah, 100 times. Yeah. Not that you know subscriber count is quantifying your whatever your what your value is, but yeah, it's kind of a big deal for us. <laughs> yeah, and they're great guys. So. Yeah, they are. Anyway, that's a big deal. So make sure you're liking, commenting, subscribing. You know the whole deal, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on the series we drop on building this body from scratch. We're going to show how it's done. We're going to show the process on it because it's how it's done, and we're going to also probably launch this thing off some ramps or something. I don't know. We'll see. There's a bunch of work needs to be done this still. Um, we want to get a front roll hoop on here so that if you roll this, you're not going to get crushed. Um, we need reinforcements. We need to dial in the shifter and brake pedal. The brake pedal's a little wide to the left. Little things like that that need to be sorted. But anyway, we'll see you guys next Saturday. Make sure you're checking out our other social medias in the description below because we'll be leaking out some stuff throughout the next week. So I'm going to get a shower. <laughs>